guys, I'm back with another video on my birthday. Um, so you're asking, why is your karambas in pieces? I'll tell you why. Because of this. Right here. So, I was walking to my kitchen, and my knife caught on something, fell in my pocket. Wasn't too extreme, not extreme fall or anything, I mean... I'm not incredibly tall or anything, so it just fell on the, the uh, tile. Which, I mean, it's hard, but it shouldn't break your knife. But So, I went to pick it up, and this fell off. It's a little Allen, um, or it might be Torx. I think it's a Torx wrench. A little, um, the head of the screw that goes through. And this is the, the main pivot screw, if you will, that goes through. And then the blade fits onto that, like that. It's the main thing. So this thing broke. And I'm gonna. I just thought of this a couple minutes ago, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna email Boker Plus, see if he can send me a replacement, because the weld just cracked on it. It wasn't a solid piece of metal, I guess. And they welded it on or soldered it on. I think it's a weld though. But so that is one problem I have with the Boker Plus Karambit. Um, I love the knife and the knife. And something else I noticed was it is a little frame lock, titanium frame lock. But um, right, I don't know if the camera will paint me if I move the light. Right on the end here, the blade is titanium coated, 440C blade but I mean right here it's just eating up the edge the liner lock was I don't know if it's because it's a softer steel or what but that just kind of annoyed me because it wasn't locking tight anymore because it was eating it up so that was another complaint I had and not that I'm a complaining person or anything but I just wanted to share these little observations with you just so you'd be aware of them and um, if it's happened to you or if you have some suggestions just leave me a comment and as again thank you for watching